what's going on y'all, Tendies for Life here. In this video, we'll be going over the ticker TSMPD, which is the Tosoro Enterprises Incorporated. This is a stock that has typically been deemed as the holy grail for the OTC market world. For those who have been watching the penny stocks for a minute, you probably are familiar with TSMP. For those who aren't, just know that this is a stock that everyone wishes their stock would duplicate. What I mean by that is they were trading in the sub penny land a few months ago and then they have bounced up to about a dollar and 74 cents I believe about a few weeks ago and it is just a stock where people are like man I wish my stock would take off like TSMP or oh, this is the next TSMP and speaking of this this ticker used to be TSMP however the company did a reverse split for the stock a few days ago which has then changed the ticker to TSMPD and if you're not familiar with what a reverse stock split is it's basically a part when the company decides to lower the number of existing shares to hopefully make them a little bit more valuable which then reduces the outstanding shares that they have in the open market and so some folks take their thoughts of reverse split stocks in a negative fashion where they don't think it's a good sign but that's not always the case with all stocks so example of a reverse stock split in terms of numbers would be say you had a thousand shares of a company the company announces a one to four reverse split just like tsmp did that thousand shares now divided by four is 250 shares but while it may be lower shares the value of the stock itself per share increases if your stock was worth 500 dollars before the reverse split it's still going to be worth 500 dollars after the reverse split so when we're looking at the price here the ticker for tsmp tsmpd now it's kind of hard to tell exactly where we're at so don't just think that from the 25th of february it bounced for 21 cents and then closed all the way at four dollars and 83 cents that technically is somewhat true but it does not mean that people who are holding a million shares at 21 cents now have a million shares at four dollars and 83 cents their million shares were divided by four which is now the value that they're sitting at so um, don't feel like the boat has been completely missed in terms of this because the reverse split just happened now that we've discussed that let's head over to the otc market page and see what the company is about all right and so here we are on the otc market page and so we can see tsmpd and so it is going to be humble incorporated right now it's still to soro enterprises but it will change to humble incorporated shortly and we see that right now they're currently pink current information verified profile um, in the otc market no telling how much longer they will be pink current versus something else but time will tell on that part and so we'll read the description here Tosoro Enterprises Incorporated has merged with Humble LLC and will soon be renamed Humble Incorporated. The mission of Humble and Humble Hubs is to deliver high quality, low cost digital payments and financial services. So we see here that we're in the digital payment and financial services realm. The Humble Network was designed to support vertical markets such as government, banking, wireless, and merchants in locations like Latin America, Caribbean, Asia, and Africa who are seeking to migrate to digital payment and financial technologies to help reduce costs and improve settlement speeds for customers. So they're hitting key demographics er demographic areas which likely have a lack of service. Latin America, Caribbean, Asia, and Africa. So that's what they're aiming for. That's, that's a nice little niche market to get into. The Humble mobile app delivers borderless transactions by integrating multiple currencies, payment methods, banks, blockchain, and financial service providers into one click for the customer. So the one-stop shop making it easy for customers and most likely in those demographic areas. Humble provides greater access and portability than US only mobile wallet providers such as Venmo and Zelle and will offer a Humble Hubs merchant software for clients without smartphones and certain domiciles. They've called out two other providers and said how they're different from them because they're doing US only. And then they're also planning on doing it without smartphones and certain domiciles. So they're looking to capture the whole market 
at least in the Latin America, Caribbean, Asia, and Africa sectors, which I'm sure they will progress and enlarge more over time. And now looking at the share structure, we see their authorized shares is 5 billion. However, their outstanding shares, which appears to be after the reverse split, is now 974 million. My preference is anything below 5 billion outstanding shares. The fact that this is below 1 billion shares puts it in the zone that I like to see. And here we are with the most recent PR news for TSMPD. So looking at the top three, see that Humble Financial launches block ETX products in over 100 countries. This gives over 100 countries the opportunity to invest in blockchain, you know, cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, all that stuff. So that's pretty impressive, I think just alone on that one news PR report. That was at the beginning of February. And then the one we'll probably spend more time on today is completes corporate actions on the 25th of February. And then they had like a conference call on the 26th. So we'll look at the complete corporate actions, see what that's about. So the Humble Incorporated announced today that the financial industry had industry regulatory authority has processed the company's corporate actions as requested and has changed and had its name changed to Humble Incorporated. In addition to the change, the company's name Humble has executed a one to four reverse split of its common stock and made other changes to its share structure, including the creation of restricted preferred classes of shares, which will be issued to former members of Humble LLC and prospective investors of Humble. The authorized number of shares stated reflects these preferred shares on a presumed fully diluted basis. So we talked about that earlier in the video about the one to four reverse split stock and what that means. In discussion about the reverse split, Humble's COO and corporate secretary stated the company's board of directors concluded that it was important to quell the validity in the share price. Prospective investors and current shareholders were concerned that it was difficult to pinpoint the true value of the common shares. Furthermore, this will force any outstanding short positions to cover their position. The board was also sympathetic to, ne to the need not to wipe out the holdings of the shareholders and therefore determined that this small reverse split would satisf satisfy both requirements. In terms of that quote, I have seen reverse splits or at least heard of them where there have been like a one to 10 or one to 25. So one to four, they're saying a small, I mean, that's in the eyes of the beholder, right? And how you feel about that. As a result of the reverse split, Humble stock symbol will change to TSMPD on February 25th. So we know this just happened. And then to Humble, the 26th of March, 2021. So they're going to change to Humble on the 26th of March. So it's about a month from now. And so if you're wondering why they decided to do a reverse split, it tells you all in this paragraph right here in the next one as to why they felt it was important for the company. Looking further into the company profile, we see in terms of financial reporting that they are under an alternative reporting standard. So not the SEC. This one's a little bit different. Their audited financials are unaudited. However, their latest report was posted on September 2020 for their quarterly report. And then in terms of company officers that we'll concern ourselves with today will be for Brian Foote, who is the current acting president. And so here we are on the Humble webpage, which from a first glance looks like a pretty good put together website. I think in terms of, you know, grabbing the, the reader's attention and seeing what they're about, nice, uh, agreeable colors. We'll take a look at some of these. So the first one, instant migration to the digital economy. So mobile pay. And so who we connect, consumers, freelancers, merchants. So they're kind of grabbing everybody, those who buy, those who create, freelancers who do their things on the side. With you wherever you want to go for consumers and freelancers, then get paid from wherever you want to be. And they got the picture of merchants. And so in terms of countries, Humble will be coming to the following countries. This may change at any time. So we can see a list here of all the countries located. You also see United States. And so Humble will allow customers and merchants to better connect into the digital economy. And they're showing the MasterCard, Visa, American Express. And there's other countries, you know, in Ireland, for example. So these are the countries that they plan to come to, but that could change at any time. And then looking at our next one, so they also have their Humble Studios 
for those who have global shops. And this is just an example of some of those who have their products that can be purchased. So Humble supports that. And they also do financial, which I think is another big part of Humble is their digital asset investing. And they're also saying, hey, we make this easy for you. And they'll show you the new decade, new investment part where they're looking at top performing ETFs. And then also, as mentioned earlier in the video, the block ETX, so we're talking about getting into cryptocurrencies and being able to invest in those. And then looking at the other parts of the web page. So if we are looking at financial, buy and sell you'll see here that currently uh, it is not select in some countries including the United States due to regulatory requirements so at this point in time it, as far as I can tell it doesn't look like you can do a block ETX investment with Humble in the United States that may change in the future but for right now it doesn't look like that's the case so going back to the original web page we see here under investors they have an investor call so they just completed one on the 26th, which we read in the OTC market news feed. So if you're really interested in Humble, now they have a 35 minute video, it looks like, about investors call and where they're heading to. In terms of press release, we see here that, again, they're talking about block ETX products in over 100 countries. To me, that sounds pretty big, um, especially if those countries didn't have access to invest into block ETX products. And then just more press releases if you're interested in those. Market updates, as far as I can tell, is basically the exact same thing. Didn't look like that changed at all. So now that we've kind of seen this part of the webpage, let's take a look at the president to learn a little bit more about him. So as we can see, this is the chief executive officer and president, Brian Foote. And we'll just kind of read over his bio real quick to see what he is about. So Brian Foote is the founder of Humble and leads the daily operations of the company. Brian brings with him 20 years of consumer technology experience, having launched a number of top-ranked global technology products across brand, market research, strategy, and channel sales at companies like Epson, where he was twice named the CEO Innovators Award, twice named to the CEO Innovators Award for his cross-functional work on consumer technology lineups that went to number one in the world in sales in their respective categories. Brian is a former senior vice president of a consulting firm in Silicon Valley and has worked with Fortune 500 clients and merchants like Amazon, Best Buy, Costco, Walmart, and Target to drive channel and merchant product sales, which led him to develop this his market research around Humble and Humble Hubs consumer and merchant software products in the emerging markets. Brian performed his education at the University of Pennsylvania where he was named an all Ivy League athlete. So he sounds like a pretty well-rounded type of person. He then transferred to the University of California at Los Angeles, UCLA, where he completed his degree and was on an NCAA Final Four soccer team. Brian holds cert certifications in blockchain payments, digital and social media at Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Brian was recently featured in Forbes as the CEO of a startup to watch in 2020 and has featured speakers surrounding the positive impact of Humble digital payments, cross-border remittance, and lending on Asia, Pacific, and Oceania region on government programs and national GDPs in conjunction with the UN 2030 agenda. Now, clearly when they're doing these bios, they're gonna put all the best assets up front, but even still, this is pretty impressive resume, in my opinion, uh, and it, it kind of speaks to him being all around it as he was also an all Ivy League athlete, which he didn't have to put in there, right? It's, you, you're kind of like, what does that have to do with Humble? And in my mind as an investor, it just makes me think of someone who has another experience outside of just education. There's also the athletic part of it as well and him being on a Final Four NCAA soccer team. I don't know, kind of cool. Um, not hanging my hat on it, just saying that it's nice to see that there's other things in here besides just uh, all of his financial things. So you kind of get a, a better understanding of who the president is from a personal standpoint.
And here we are on the Humble Twitter page. So we see they have approximately almost 18,000 followers. And they do appear to keep this updated with the latest tweet being on the 26th of February discussing about their investor call. But it's usually a good sign when a company keeps their Twitter page active, getting the word out to others. And here we are on the Stock Twitch page for Humble. So they currently have almost 50,000 watchers. So no doubt about it, this is a company that's being eyed under a microscope. People are already aware of this company and what they can do. So it's, it's got a pretty happening and active Stock Twitch page. So, what were your thoughts on Humble? TSMPD, as of right now, were they able to win you over? My disclaimer for this video is I currently do not have any stock invested in TSMPD or soon to be Humble. Again, my funds are tied up, so it's not even possible for me at this point in time. I do think the company has a lot of things going for it, especially because they are capitalizing in a market where you know, I haven't been there personally, but I can kind of see that they may not have those services readily available that Humble is able to give to them and not only give them those services, but also in a nice, easy, clean, convenient manner, such as mobile pay, um, which is making it more accessible for everyone involved, consumers, freelancers, merchants, they're doing all that. Plus, they're also into the investment realm with the block ETX, which I think a lot of people will be interested in investing to since cryptocurrency is kind of kind of the thing nowadays where folks are really into into investing into those type of trades they did just complete the reverse split so it's hard to say if they do have plans for another one in the future but in terms of the stock in the next few days i you know again no crystal ball i have no idea what's going to happen but i will be keeping an eye on it to kind of see where it's headed to in my own opinion, I think this is still something worth investing in. I think they have a lot of way, to, a lot of room to go in terms of growth. And I think the more that this catches on and the more popular it becomes, as long as they are staying on top of it and, and keeping people happy, this could be, you know, a big stock somewhere down the road. Again, no crystal ball. That's my own opinion. I'm not a financial advisor, but if I had money available, I would likely invest in this company when the time is right. So in any event, hopefully y'all enjoy the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, share this to Reddit, Twitter, stock twits, wherever. Uh, it would be greatly appreciated. And if you have any other stocks on your view, let me know. But other than that, I'll see you next time.